Hi everybody, we're back. Back for another uh, show of, of fun and uh, psychicness and, and all sorts of stuff. I'm Doug Johnson. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We have a kind of a cool guest tonight. Uh, her name is Jorianne, the coffee psychic. And here she is. <laughs> Jorianne. Now we've got lots of coffee. We've got cream. We, that's all we need. Yes, that's yes, coffee, cream, and cups. And cups, and yes. cups. Can't forget and the cups, cups. okay? And uh, what you can do is uh, call in. Jorianne will be happy to, uh, to do, do the coffee thing. And she will uh, tell you your future, your what's going to, what? Past, what? present, future. If people call in with a specific question, mm -hmm. I'll be able to give them an answer based upon the images, the letters, numbers, body parts, whatever comes up in the coffee. Body parts come up in your coffee. Everything comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, now, just before everybody calls in, just a little background on you. Okay. You became psychic when you got hit in the head with a horseshoe or what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had gotten punched in the head. You got punched in the head. Yes. Okay. And of course, because of the injury, I can't remember if it was when I was seven <laughs> or nine years okay. old. But it was somewhere between when I was seven or nine years old. Yeah. And after that, I was able to start seeing things happen before they'd happen. So it knocked some sense into you. There you, there you go. <laughs> some that's, sixth that's, sense into that's me. That's what, no, sixth <laughs> sense, okay. Uh, and you've also been on the Johnny, Johnny B show, the radio show. You, yes, were, you I did have. that for, for how long? About six years. Six years. And you've been on the television show Sightings. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. and we'll, we'll get into that. Okay. But that's kind of cool. Yes. I, I want to I want to find out about Johnny B. Great. Great. That should be. I'm sure that you've got lots of fabulous stories. man. <laughs> fabulous man. Uh, the uh, phone number is six three six five six four zero. There it is. Uh, and uh, she'll be glad to do uh, to do the coffee thing for you. And you also are, uh, besides just reading coffee, mm -hmm. um, you are clairvoyant. Yes, I am. And. Clear audience. Clear audience. Mm -hmm. And what else? Clear, <laughs> clairvoyant, clear audience, clear sentient. Um, I I also do channeling and some mediumship work, and I'm also a paranormal investigator. Wow. Yeah. I want to get into that. The paranormal. Well, you lived in that. Well, we'll get into that. Yes. The the, the ghost yes. house. Okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, give us a call. We have, we have a call on line two. Line two. Okay. We get right to it. Hi. Who is this? Hi, oh, wait a minute. Let me turn you up. And, Anne? Uh -huh. Hi, oh. how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Hi. What would you like to ask uh, Jory Ann? Hi, I was just wondering if you see a house or a raise real soon. Okay, hi Ann, how you doing? Good. All right, let me take a peek okay, here. got to do the coffee. Pour the coffee in here. Now, you don't use very much. No, I like to pour in just enough, which is about probably, you know, a third of a cup or half of the cup. Now, if we can see in the coffee right now, and you've got a lot of bubbles around the um, perimeter perimeter of your cup, uh -huh. which tells me a lot of good luck. Great. Now, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do can is you tip it just a little bit this way. Okay. Is that, okay. Is it, will that screw? Will it. that mess you up not, if it's not, tipped like that? Well, not let's at do, all. Okay. Not at all. Okay, that's okay. good. Okay. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to look at it again, and then I'll tip it back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the cream in here, and again, more bubbles. Now, what I would tell you on this, uh, first off, who's got the dog, Ann? Who's got the dog? Yes. Nobody. Okay, now I saw a dog in the coffee immediately, and this would tell me when you get this new house, uh -huh. you, you, really have to, you really have to watch out for a bad dog in the neighborhood. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> so, as a matter of fact, if you want to call Doug back and, and let him know, please do that. Okay. Okay. Um, also, is there something with the um, possibility of expanding your family? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. I'm thinking yes, because I'm seeing a little baby in the coffee. When? Well, I'll tell you what. I know for sure that it's probably going to be before... Um, actually, I've got a year up here. There's a, there's a one in the coffee over on this side, right here. I don't know if, if it's too light to be seen, but there's a one. I would project somewhere within a year, year and a half's time period. For a baby? Yep. Or your girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want honestly, the details. Right? Honestly, the sense is more of a girl than it is a boy right now. Oh, really? Yes. I wasn't even thinking about any kids for a while. Uh, well, give us a call. <laughs> okay, all right? let us know, all right? Do you see anything for a house uh, soon or a raise? Oh, no, yes. Definitely good luck toward the house. Positively. Okay, all right. Well, thanks. Okay. Now, it's, I don't know. Now, how do you, do you see this 
as like like you're looking at clouds and you say that cloud looks like a horse very similar but it actually it actually come you can actually see the picture yeah. right in the coffee okay I saw a mean dog in the coffee it wasn't it wasn't a cute sweet little puppy mm -hmm. it was a dog that I'd be concerned about okay okay and All then right. I saw the number one when she was asking what was it asking about um, the the house and yes. the, the baby and right uh, you know <laughs> right or there the you job go. and everything <laughs> right so pr and and the sense I'm getting is the one or one and a half years and these things oh, will be okay. coming to her yeah and all the bubbles indicated good luck and good um, good things coming her way now what did you say about the the stuff around the edge it, yeah, it really depends on how many bubbles are there and how yeah. long they stay. Good luck, good fortune, things like bubbles that. Bubbles are good. Yes, very good. Bubbles are good. Okay. Very good. Hi, who is this? Nobody? Is this the line? Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. Sorry, I had the wrong line. What's your name? Maria. And where are you calling from? Oakland. And what would you like to know? Uh, what does she see in the coffee of the romance department for me. In, in the what for you? Romance. Oh, romance department. In the romance department. Well, that is a, that's a real good question, Maria. Um, I'll tell you immediately, I would have to tell you, have you had any, um, hmm, have you had any challenges? No. In your relationships lately? No. Okay, I, I, I want you to kind of watch out for a relationship that could be a little bit of a challenge and uh, one that you'll probably have. Okay. And that would, that's the answer I'm going to give you right now. And right now, actually, I'd, I'd actually be spending more time myself doing analyzing, but don't look yet because I get until um, beginning of next year into April. Okay. That's when you can start looking for somebody more on a serious level. Right now, you really need to just go out and have a very good time. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Go All right, out thank and have you. fun. <laughs> now, when you when you pour the, uh, the the cream in the coffee, you see a uh, a, a sign, whatever. Yes. Yes. And then, now what happens after a while? I mean, it's it's all pretty much just brown. What what do you see after that? What actually happens is, let's see, the second cup. As you can see in this, as you can see right here, mm -hmm. we have got images that go down and then they resurface. Then I pour more cream in and then they resurface. Yeah. There are certain things, when I first started doing this work, I was, um, I was kind of insecure with my abilities. I wasn't sure of myself. And so I passed some information that I really thought, well, maybe it's important, but maybe isn't it? You know, I, I'd yeah. seen some skulls, which to me would indicate death. And, and I was concerned about telling the person that. But the rest of the information stopped, and suddenly several skulls kept coming to the surface of the coffee. It would go down, and it would come back up, and it would go down and come back up again. Yeah. And so I finally had to stop, and I had to tell the person, I had to ask them, has there been any death? And this person looked at me and said, yes, several of my friends have recently been dying. Wow. So this information, you know, it might get a little white, but as soon as I pour more cream into it, it goes down and it resurfaces with more facts, mm -hmm. more information that okay. needs to be interpreted. Now, are, are you the only one who does this? Are you like the, the coffee psychic person of the world? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this form of coffee reading, I'd have to say so. Yeah. Okay. I know that there's Greek coffee reading, there's Turkish coffee reading, there's tea leaf reading. Yeah, now I've heard of the tea leaf thing. Okay. Yes. Well, with the uh, Greek and uh, Turkish coffee reading, what they do is they, uh, they bring the uh, coffee to a boil, and then there's the sediment. They have you drink the coffee, then they right. turn the cup okay. upside down, and then they read the sediment that's left on the bottom mm -hmm. of either the cup or the saucer. Okay. Now, see, that's what I thought this was going to be. Yes. No, okay. it's not. I, okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, who's this? Did I pick the wrong line again? Hi, who is this? Hi, my name is Linda. Hello, Linda. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? You Hi, sound Linda. very perky this evening. Oh, good. <laughs> well, hopefully. Uh, what can Joanne do for you? Yeah, I w I'm having problems with my shoulder, and no one's been able to tell me really what was wrong with it, and maybe she can lend some insight onto what's wrong. Yeah. What, what's wrong with it? I mean, does it hurt? It hurts real bad, and yeah. I've had x-rays, and they can't find anything wrong, but I know there's something wrong with it. Does it hurt all the time? Basically, yes. Yeah, well, that's not good. No. 
Okay, I'm going to see if I can find something in the coffee. We don't always get all the answers, but does it feel like it jams up on you, Linda? No, like basically it it's hard for me to, I can't like put my hands over my head. It's not mobile. All right, so there is a point where it tightens up. Right. Okay, because that's, that's what I felt, something tightening there. Right. All right, what this actually feels like, and in the coffee here, this looks like a fall. This looks like a body that has fallen. And I would have to state that this is an old injury that happened to you some time back that is starting to come back to affect you right now. And I would say, if you seriously do continue to see somebody pursuing this, you will, find, you will get an answer to this. Okay. You will get some help on this matter. So good luck with that. All right, then. All okay. right. Okay. Okay, well, good luck. All right, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Um, we're going to take a quick break, but I want to. When we come back, I want to ask you about the uh, the sightings. Yes. TV show. Okay. The big big time TV show person you, <laughs> and uh, talking about Johnny B. How that was. I'm sure that was pretty pretty crazy. Wonderful. And uh, we'll take some more phone calls. And uh, there's the phone number. Give us a call, okay? And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Great. Everybody, we're back with Jory Ann, the coffee psychic, and uh, she's been doing some pretty cool stuff. I uh, wanted to talk to her real quick about her um, sightings, big sightings television <laughs> uh, thing. Now, your, your para uh, paranormal, paranormal investigator. investigator. Mm -hmm. Now, what were the, the sightings uh, TV show? Uh, uh, what, what, were, what did they have you do? Uh, sightings had called me up and asked me if I'd go out to Jerome, Arizona and investigate a haunted hotel. And when I had gotten there, uh, it was late at night, and it was just a, a fascinating investigation because as soon as you would walk onto the elevator, you'd, you'd just get ice cold, mm -hmm. okay? And there was just this a horrible feeling of dread. And now, was this um, a, a working um, hotel? Yes. Okay. Yes, it was. As a matter of fact, um, after I do the entire investigation, I don't want to know anything ahead of time, but after I'd gotten done with it, I had learned that it had been a, um, a hospital at one time. Oh, okay. And uh, one of the most interesting parts for me was on the second floor, I'd gone uh, to a certain area and I kept hearing, shh, shh, like this. Mm -hmm. And they finally told me that's where the nurse's station was in the hospital. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so that was real cute. Well, let's go to line one. <laughs> okay. Because this, this poor... Hi, who is this? Hi, Doug. This is Betty. Hi, Betty. Poor... I'm sorry, Betty. She's been hanging on forever. Hi, Betty. Hi. Uh, what, what, what would you like to ask? I was wondering what you can see in the coffee in regards to my uh, love life. Okay. More love. <laughs> love and money. There you, you go. You bet. Okay, Betty. First off... When I first poured the coffee, you had lots and lots of bubbles on the right side of your cup here. And to me, the very first, the very first sense that I had here was of, let me move this over a little bit, was actually of some very good luck 
very good luck coming into your love life. I'm not quite so sure that you've had a lot of good um, energy going on in your love life. I'm not sure that you didn't have a breakup or something. Yeah, I'm recently divorced. Good deal, because actually on the I'm going to try to show this here. Okay. There's two people, and it looks like one is walking away from the other right on the side of the cup, right over here. But you really have to stay positive because actually as we speak right now, I'm, my whole body filling up with goosebumps, which tells me, boy, are you going to be one happy little camper when it comes down to your love life. Okay? But because the bubbles were in the right, right part, right uh, half of the cup, this means that that's probably going to be coming somewhere around... Um, more January, December, February ish. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay? okay. Where, where things are going to get really, really good. Any sense? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat and, that. <laughs> and you need to watch out for a cruise. A cruise, a trip to Florida, and somewhere by the ocean. Okay? Does that make any sense yet? Yes, it does. Good deal. Because this sounds silly, but I'm seeing like a, a, a sea urchin or something like that in the coffee right now. And also, who's the person that loves to teach or instruct? Uh, teacher do you train at all or did you ever want to train people? No. no. Well, actually, because I'm, and again, I'm seeing a sea otter in here. I'm going to cut myself off here. There's a sea otter. Um, I'm going to have to say you need to watch out for Canada or somebody Canadian mm -hmm. or being toward that part of the country coming into your life. Okay? But again, there was a teacher in this coffee. Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm kind of getting a sense that this might be this, this at a later time, training and instructing for a career change at a later time. Okay? Okay. Keep, okay, keep so good open. luck. Have fun. Thank you. So much. Good luck, Betty. <laughs> Hi, who is this? This is Nancy. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hi, Nancy. We're doing fantastic. Uh, Dory Ann is here to answer your question. Okay, um, I was wondering how like, my finances look as far as like, getting home improvements done this year. Okay. Poor little. Okay. Now it works with ca decaffeinated, caffeinated. Yes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yes. Uh, instant is cool. No, you know what? No. No? No instant. No instant. It really makes a difference. It needs to be fresh brewed. Really? Is this yes. fresh brewed? <laughs> I can tell you. I can tell you. <laughs> okay. And Nancy, this is finances? Yes. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What? Oh, man. You've got too many things going in different directions here. Oh boy. <laughs> does that does that make sense for you, Nancy? Definitely, yes. Okay. And you know, actually in the coffee here, what are we seeing? We're seeing a tornado. Okay. Which to me would tell you that you may have some uh, devastating times around your finances, but you have control of this. Because the tornado isn't that um, how can I say? It's not that far away from you, but you're able to control it? Yeah, I'm trying to, yes. Okay, and then there's a turtle. Let me show you. Do you see the turtle on the top there, Doug? There's a, well, I don't know if you can see it now. There was a turtle. Was there? I, I yes. missed the turtle. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> there was a turtle on the top of your coffee here, Nancy. So things are going to go slowly, but they're going to turn out very, very well. And the other thing is, if, if you really could go to the gambling boat for a fun night out, do that. Okay. You go to Vegas, to the gambling boat, you have a real good time. And don't go overboard, but you have a real good time with that. You know, I, I know you're only supposed to ask one question, but my husband was concerned about his health. You don't see any, like, any health problems or nothing, do you? What's his first name? Pete. Pete? Okay. Yeah. You know what it looks like, Nancy? It looks like Pete needs to get out and not be so overstressed. Yeah. He I needs. Think so too. I think a lot of it is stress. I feel he needs to get out and either go watch a baseball game or get out and golf or something like that. And also, honest to God, I've got birds in your coffee. I don't know if you guys are bird watchers. If there's a lot of birds around your home. Oh, we have a bird. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There you go. And uh, he just he needs to relax a lot. And of course, people need to take their health very, very seriously. Right. And it's entirely up to you and Pete. Make sure he goes in for a visit. It's very important. Make sure you guys keep up on your regular checkups and, and you take care of that. Okay. okay. All right? Thanks a lot. Okay. Lots of good luck. Bye. Blackjack. Remember, blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> 
No? Okay. Uh, I wanted to talk to you too. You, were, you mentioned the, the paranormal. Is that right, paranormal? Yes, paranormal. See, I'm real stupid about this stuff. <laughs> but anyway, you lived in a haunted house. Yes, for yes, a while. I did. Mm -hmm. Should we mention the suburb? Sure, let's mention it. Burbank. Burbank. It's in Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> What about it? Tell 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 me about the the haunted house. It was a uh, it was a real fun experience. Uh, many times our radios would turn up all by themselves out mm -hmm. of nowhere. Um, my sister and I one time we were in her room and we were looking out the window and suddenly as though and this is the second floor this is the second story and there was no way to get up to this window. Yeah. It's almost like somebody had a vacuum cleaner and had been sucking the window outward and then bounced back in and then we saw a couple of spirits floating behind the window and I'll tell you we we both <laughs> I didn't know I could run that fast and I don't think she did either <laughs> and we both ran downstairs and you uh, I we were talking before and you haven't been back there since I mean just I was just wondering if it's still haunted or if the people who are living there are still I, you know, I'm not sure, but I know that the people that had uh, taken the home, uh, there's been a couple of couples in the home mm -hmm. since, and everyone kind of seems to break up. Yeah. And it really seems that when there's a lot of negative energy in a home, uh, many times if there's a, um, a dead, per a, you know, a, a, haunt, a person that's haunting the house, yeah. they can cause depression, they can cause a lot of upsets, things like now, that. Now, do you think this had anything to do with what, you do, what you're doing now? I mean, did that kind of... Influence Gu me? Yeah, guide you Positively. In, in, yeah, you think so? Positively. Yeah? Okay. Yes, All right. yes I do. Mm -hmm. Hi, who is this? Hi, this is Sally, and I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Sally. Hi, Sally. I have a question. I'd like to know about my relationship involving my love life. Okay. There's a certain person that I'm interested in, too, and I'd like to know how he feels about me. All right. Well, let me go ahead and pour some coffee here for you. <coughs> And another thing too, real quick, when you were doing the, you know, the, uh, whatever you were doing, rubbing your rubbing hands together hands, and, yes. you know, closing your eyes. Yes. Does that get your psychic juices going? Is that, is that what's going on? Quite honestly, yes, it yeah? does. Okay. I just, sometimes I'm not even sure what I'm doing. I just start rubbing my hands, things like this. And it just helps bring the, uh, the energy up through me. Almost like it helps me see better. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just wondering. Okay. <laughs> Good question. Okay, Sally, what's this person's name? His name is Gary, but I'm not really involved with him. Okay, well, let me tell you this. On the side of the coffee, right now I've got two people. One person might be leaning on the other, okay? Maybe a little bit too much. Uh huh. And then there are some tears. If you can see in the coffee on the side, you see the way the coffee is spilled on the side of the uh, cup there? Uh-huh. That, to me, looks like tears. Really? So, yes. So you think this person likes me? Or? Oh, this person could like you, but I would have to sit here and tell you that possibly watch out. This person could lean on you a little bit too much. It could end up with a little upset along the way. Uh-huh. Okay? And that's what I want you to keep your eyes open for. All right? Could you tell me anything about financially? Sure, let me take a peek here. Oh, gee, you've got some real good things coming in around you. You should have a lot of changes going in on your life, Sally. Like how? Financially? Uh, or? Yeah, it has to be financially. Things are going to be changing around you. Somebody might be moving here around you. Does that make any sense right now? Is anyone moving? Mm, how about marriage? What do you see about marriage for me? Okay, did that answer your question, though? Uh, yeah, it did. It's about, you know, someone moving around me, it did. Okay, good. And it does make sense, right? Yeah, it does. All right, good, good, good. Okay. All right. How about, about marriage? Do you see any marriage for me around this year or this summer? No, not this year. But there should be marriage coming, but not this year. I don't believe it's going to be this year. And remember, I'm not 100% either. Really? Nobody is 100%. Always go on your own gut instincts, okay? Uh-huh. All right, good okay. luck. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're, you're welcome. Bye-bye. We're going to take another caller and uh, then take a quick break, okay? Hi, who is this? Janine. J Janine? Yes. Hello. Hello. What would uh, you like to uh, ask Jorianne? About love and romance. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hello. 
You want to just ask how's it going? Uh -huh. All right. Just sort of in general kind of stuff? Yeah. You know? Looking for a boyfriend, a husband, or what? Something, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, any old thing will do. You know, if we look at Jitty's coffee right now, we're going to see lots and lots of bubbles all around our coffee. Whether someone's here or not right now, you're going to find a lot of good luck and love, and I think it's going to be soon. I don't think it's going to be later. I think it's going to be soon. Uh-huh. Get ready. And it's going to be somebody very, very special. This seems to be the person you've been waiting for. Does that make sense for you? Yeah. Is there somebody here that you're just like wow over? Uh-huh. Okay, I knew it. <laughs> Jitty, the energies around you are just fantastic. You need to stay real positive. And are you doing something new with your face or your dress or your style of your hair or something like that? Yeah. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be you. having such a great time right now. It's not funny. Okay. All right. It's going to be a love fest. <laughs> Lots okay. of luck. All right, bye. Okay, Alrighty. bye bye. <laughs> she's going to have fun. She'll have a ball. She's going to have a blast. Yes, she will. Uh, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Uh, get your phone calls in for Jorianne. <laughs> the coffee psychic and we're going to get to uh, your phone calls here real quick uh, I wanted to talk to uh, Dorian real quick about working with Jonathan Brandmeier yes if that had to be pretty special <laughs> I would, to say I the would. least now you were in studio with him also yes right yes, I okay was. just about all the time yeah yeah what a great experience <laughs> Jonathan Brandmeier is like one of the best talents I think I've ever met in my whole he's, life and he's he's bouncing off the walls but he seriously all, all is time. oh I know that's Yes. That's his personality. The way I the way I look at Johnny B, he reminds me of the three stooges in one little body, and he's just going crazy all over the studio. Well, what uh, you did the uh, the coffee readings off obviously for the listeners. Yes. What were some of the? I mean, for six years, there's got to be a couple that were yes, pretty wacky. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, the one thing with Johnny himself, uh, he lost his watch, and he asked me if I could find it for him. Mm -hmm. And I had told him that yes, I could feel it in a pocket, and he went through his entire house and he couldn't find it at all. Not not for the longest time. And finally, after uh, quite a while, a season had passed, and uh, he had gone to put a pair of shorts on, and he didn't realize he had put it away in a pair of shorts, and it came out and it was in his shorts ah, pocket. Ah, okay. Yes, and yeah. I also predicted his biking accident as well. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. What? Yeah, he had a... He had a, uh, a motorcycle accident. biking accident no, or no, bicycle right. biking? Bicycle. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah, bike rider. Wow. But just a fabulous person. Yeah, there have been a lot of, um, a lot of real interesting... Uh, yeah. Well, if you, hear, if you get any vibes from me about something bad, let me know, okay? <laughs> or how about anything good? <laughs> or anything good, yeah. Anything good would be better, but bad, there you, you know, <laughs> there bad you I'd kind of like to know, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Pete from Chicago Woods. Hey, hey Pete. Yeah. Hey, Pete. Howdy. What would you like to know? Uh, how's down the road, how's the relationship with my wife and I going? All right. Okay. And let, me let, let me let you know, my aunt used to be real big on the Greek coffee thing. Oh, unbelievable. Good deal. Oh, we were we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of spooky too after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
it's almost like you guys you guys need to give each other a little bit of a break here, but is somebody getting a little frustrated right now? Uh, somewhat, yes. Okay. This is one of those times where you just need to kick back and uh, take a break. And what about, uh, can you guys kind of get together for a weekend away? Oh, yeah, we're going to try it because we have a little, no question, my little six-year-old, how's, how's this future look? Uh, are, aren't there two children here? Hey, pardon me? Aren't there two children? Yes, there's a 21-year-old and a six-year-old. Thank you. Okay, because I'm feeling two kids here. And what's the six-year-old's name, please? Matthew. Matthew. Oh, my God, Pete. You're asking me this question, you already know, this kid is such a little cutie pie, isn't he? Definitely. And isn't he a charmer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's right? Got old, he's got the old man's personality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't that what got you in trouble? <laughs> 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 okay, I, he, he is just such a beautiful little boy and he feels like this really big winner. Plus he's, um, how can I say it? He's got you wrapped around his finger, but you've got him wrapped around his finger. Does that make sense to you? I got you, I, got, I understand you. He, I mean, you are his idol. Exactly. And uh, you guys need to do things like sports together, but I think you already do that. Well, I know I do, but I'm in construction. I work 13, 14 hours a day and it's hard to do that. Daddy? Yes. You know, come on. Oh, no, you gotta do it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even fishing, Pete. Pardon me? Fishing. Fishing. Something like fishing, getting him out into nature, things like that. He's just gonna love it. Great. All right. Thank you very much. And okay. lots of good luck. I saw you. On, I heard you on Jonathan Brandmeier too. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank A fan. you. Okay, thanks, Pete. <laughs> Hi, who's this? Susan. I'm sorry. What? Susan. Susan. Okay. Hi, Susan. Hi. I have a question. I'm going through. Uh, a type of court battle with my ex-husband regarding my daughter. Okay. okay. A visitation dispute. Okay, let me take a peek here. Okay, she's pouring the coffee. You know, there's going to be a big question over money here, Susan. Has there already been a real big struggle over finances? Yes. Okay, it's gonna, it's probably gonna get a little ugly. And then let me ask you this question. Who's been a little depressed here? You're talking to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you, um, there, there seems to be a lot more things that you'd like to have in your life right now, okay? And, but things are gonna be on hold for you for a little while, if this makes any sense. Mm -hmm. But did you ever think about possibly some counseling or something like that to help you through this rough period? Yes. Okay, I'm going to strongly encourage you to get some counseling because it's just going to—it's going to benefit you so much. It's just going to make your life so much easier. It'll be like dropping a couple of um, sandbags off your shoulders, if I could say it that way. Um, and even in the coffee, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the S. There's a real big S in this coffee, and um, you've got a lot of hopes. You've got a lot of dreams here. They will manifest. They're just going to take time. You get yourself prepared for an ugly fight. Okay, build up your strength and you be very, very patient because things are going to come out in your behalf anyway. It's just going to be a little slower road for you. Okay? All right. All right. Okay. Best of luck now. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Let's give everybody your phone number. Okay. Real quick. Uh, we'll pop it up again at the end, end of the show, but uh, you're available for private consultations, yes. uh, house parties, parties business. Corporate events. Corporate, whatever. Yes, whatever anybody wants you for. Yes. Oh, we yeah. have it up on, on the screen right now. There you go. There it is. Why don't you read it for us? Okay. The number is 219-865-1608. Okay. She's a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, we'll pop, uh, pop that up on the screen at the, at the end of the show. So if you didn't catch it, we'll, we'll give it to you again. Okay. Hi. Who's this? Uh, George from Oakland. Hey, George. Hi, don't George. Don't sound too perky there, buddy. Yeah, get them open right now. Yeah, it sounds like it. Hey, I'm psychic now. <laughs> there you it's go. It's rubbing off on me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what would you like to know? Uh, my job situation, is it going to get better? Is it going to be stagnant? Or is it going to be worse than it is? Okay, well, let's, let's take a, piece, uh, a peek here. First question I have for you here, George, is we do have again, you've got some good bubbles here. Um, I think there might be some things around you that you're not revealing to people. 
Does that make any sense to you right now? Kind of. Okay. That's, that's a good thing right now for you to do because I'm seeing a little heel here and things are being covered up. It's, it's, um, there's more of a uh, privacy around George, okay? Mm -hmm. But certain things that he really wants to keep private uh, and probably will for a long time. Also, George, have you had any dental problems or anything going on with your dental work at all? Uh, not lately, no. Okay, well, keep your eyes open on that. And either, either you or someone very close around you is going to need some, um, some dental work pretty darn soon, actually. Even if it's one of those caps or something falling off or having problems with that. And then, you know, you do have, you've got a real fun personality. I see a real cute little smiley face in the, face in the coffee here. But um, job-wise, I'm going to say there might be somebody around your work. I see a, like somebody with two faces in here. Okay, So you might not be getting all the facts around what's going on around work or somebody could be, somebody could be lying to you. Does that make any sense? Doesn't surprise me. It's got to be the boss. <laughs> yeah, <it's, a> <laughs> it's, it's not always the boss. It's not always the boss. Correct. But you know what? You just take it easy. You know, give yourself a break. I think you're a perfectionist. I think you work way too hard. And um, and the nice thing is you've got a little elephant in your coffee down here at the bottom, which means good luck is coming. But again, those things that you're keeping private, those are things that you need to sort out within your own mind. Okay. Does that make sense? That's good to Okay. Thank you very much. Lots okay. of good luck now. Good luck. All righty. Okay. Hi, who is this? Hi, my name's Don. Hey, Don. Where are you calling from? Chicago. What would you like to know? Uh, it's a job related question. Okay. Uh, our company just downsized, and I've, I've been downsized. <laughs> okay. Oh, <no. laughs> how you so doing, So, how tall Dad? are you now? <laughs> Never mind. It was stupid. Uh, you so you're you have been mis you, you're, you're, downsized. You're downsized. Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. All right, Dan. Yes. Actually, and you already know this yourself. You're a very, very, very um, valuable employee. Okay. If we look in the coffee, first off, there's a snake in your coffee, so that would indicate to me that there was somebody that really wasn't on your side giving you all the support that you needed at this location uh, even though it was a, a general you might say a general downsizing uh, I think you could have had more support but the other thing is gee things are, are, are uh, the energy around you is so wonderful that it shouldn't be long before you find yourself in another position that you're like extremely elated with Okay. Haven't there been a couple of offers already that you've uh, had come your way? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I'm seeing two in the coffee here, okay. so expect two. And actually, I know sometimes these symbols, the, the symbols that I see in here are just like dream symbols, uh, dream symbols, and I'm seeing a duck in here. The other thing that I'm seeing in here is there's a face, and there's a man with a very long nose that's going to approach you. He's a lot of good luck. I'm actually uh, hearing the name Tam around you so listen for the name Tom and I think things will go very well for you and I think somewhere around September or October ish around those months you're gonna be in much better uh, much better territories and give Doug a call and let him know if that's not true alright would you do that for me sure okay Great. lots of good luck Don good luck okay Bye. now you can also I mean we went over this before the mm -hmm. you, you can feel you can see things now does yes. that kind of help you along with the coffee yes uh, with what you're seeing in there you're also yes, it getting does. an idea of what else is going on yes because when I first started this work mm -hmm. the very the very first thing I mean I used to have sporadic little experiences and I, I didn't know what they were and that got me involved in exploring this field when I first started reading the coffee that was my first form of divination I, I didn't know how to do anything of, else of what? Dip divination to divine ah, to okay. be able to uh, perceive information psychically okay and when I started doing this somebody showed me how to do it once it was my sister-in-law's cousin she's Hispanic mm -hmm. and I was told this was a Me Mexican form or Hispanic form of divination 
And I started, I, I love coffee. I mean, I am a coffee holic. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> yes, yes. I used to drink like 30 cups of coffee a day, so I deserve the title Jory and the Coffee Psychic. But I would do this every single day. And the more I did this, the more my other psychic abilities started to open up. Mm -hmm. And I was able to see things around people's energy fields. I would started hearing things. I would feel it in my body. I had actually, I could smell the ocean if they were going on a cruise. Wow. If they yeah. love Mexican food, I'd taste it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Things like that. So just everything so that, opened yeah, up. That definitely helps him. Okay, yes. Great. Yes. And you've been doing this I mean, as, as, a, as a vocation or a career for how long now? I've been doing this for the last 15 years. So you've got lots of experience. 15 years worth 15 about. Years worth. I'd say that's, that's a lot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. We're going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be back with uh, more, hopefully, a couple more uh, phone calls and we'll pop up your uh, phone number again and, and let everybody know how to get hold of you. Thank okay, you. we'll be right back. And the coffee psychic and we've got time for just a couple of more calls and we will flash up your phone number Thank you. again uh, if you are uh, you know if you'd like to give her a call and that'll come up in just a few minutes okay but we'll take well, we've got time for a couple more calls hi who is this hi this is Sherry hello what can we do for you hi Julianne how are you I'm great Sherry how are you it's great to talk to you hey um, we're about to deliver in about four weeks and I was just wondering if you could give us any insights on what we might be expecting ah. I bet you I can I can actually feel it already oh really yes and now, I mean, and, and I tell people, Sherry, I tell people, I can be wrong all the time. I'm about 75 to 85% accurate, okay? Right. I would say, boy. Really? Yes. Okay, did you have any names for him? <laughs> like, nope. uh, <laughs> you want her to name you know, your child also? Uh, Julian was a good one, but that was a good one for the girl, so. <laughs> now, did you have a feeling that it's a boy? Did we? Yeah. Yeah, this is what, um, even though we didn't get any tests on there or anything to find out what it was this time, but I kind of figured it was going to yeah, be a little Yeah, because I was going to so say most, most mothers have a feeling. And also, um, do you see it moving at all anywhere in the future, near future? <laughs> Okay, as far as a move goes, yeah. and actually I'm, I'm seeing like an initial M here, uh -huh. Sherry, so there might be something around an initial M okay. that you might work with. Okay. And then also, um, certainly you've got to wait till after the baby comes for the move, mm -hmm. but I'm, yeah, it feels the, the potential is there. Okay. That within six to eight months or a year that you guys will find the place that you want, and the other thing about this is that you don't know for sure the location. Right. That's the thing that's up in the air here. Right. And so that's what you guys have to uh, uh, really work with because it really seems like the location, you've got two, no, you've got three different locations that look like they're good potential, but other, there are other factors coming in, Sherry. Does that, under, does that make sense to you? Um, yeah, if we could, uh, one, if one of us wants to move and the other doesn't, so <laughs> that would be a big factor there too. So. Great, great. Well, there might be something around, I don't know if this is work-related or, or something that's going to be too far away from this or yeah. something like that, so you guys have to watch out for that. But two real good uh, locations are going to be wonderful for you, and watch out, one will be by water, and you're going to be like very elated with that. Oh, no kidding. Okay. 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 And, and watch out for the northeast corner of... The property or something like that okay might need repairs or something that it's easily fixable but make sure the previous owners fix it okay so oh. you're the best we've missed you we haven't heard you in a while <laughs> <laughs> thanks sherry glad to hear from you okay bye-bye <laughs> i feel the name theotis yeah 
I think Here she's <laughs> Theotis, Sherry. Name name your child Theotis. Hi, who is this? Hi, this is Kathy. Hello, Kathy. What can we do for you? Actually, I can't do anything. What can Jory Ann <laughs> do for you? Hi, Kathy. Hi, how you doing? Great. What's your question? It's right now, and I was just wondering how it's going to work out. Would you repeat how, how your question? How what's going to work out? A relationship I'm in. Oh, okay. okay. You know, sometimes people ask questions that they already have answers for. They just want you to confirm it. Confirm it, yeah. yeah. And sometimes we, we ask questions to psychics that we're really hoping it's going to be a much greater, a, a better answer than what we're perceiving you or feeling. Yeah. 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 And, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of say, Kathy, it kind of feels like if there hasn't been some trouble, okay, you might have some uh, upsets or something coming into your relationship and you might be you might be thinking or you might you may have already discussed a uh, discussed a separation or a pulling apart does that make any sense not yet no well in the coffee there's two there's one there's a i'm going to say like a heart that's been pulled apart here it's still together at the bottom okay which means that there's potential to make things work uh -huh. however these are opposing forces. Now this, this, this uh, little heart is being pulled in two strong different directions. Okay? Uh -huh. Even based with that, with a lot of hard work, people can make anything work. I don't care who you are. Okay, now I was in a relationship for like five years prior to the one I'm in now. Now oh. would that have the two hearts? Would that be the two hearts? Oh, but that... That could be. Why don't we do this? Give me the name, especially if these were close relationships. Give me the name of the person you are currently with. Ray. Ray? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I've got to tell you, Kathy, it, it just it just seems like it just seems like a, a lot of um, a lot of headaches, a lot of hard work here. Okay, and yet a lot of growth coming out of this. This if this relationship continues, it's gonna take a lot of hard work. Okay? okay. I'm gonna say that to you. And um, has there been a baby here? No, no. Okay, well actually either there's a child or something because I'm seeing a child or a baby and if, it is, if it's not yours then you're going to end up hearing of a baby that's going to come into this world that should be close to you. Okay. All right. Hey, that'll be a grandmother soon, huh? Hey, hey, hey all right. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> okay. Give Doug a call. Yeah, let us know. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks okay, bye-bye. We've got time for one more call, one more call. Hi, who is this? Hi, this is Portia, and I'm calling from uh, Richland. Okay. I have a question about my love life. Hi, Portia. And what would that Hi. question be? I need to know about this particular guy. Okay. Okay, now this is a this is a relationship that's not 100% cemented yet, isn't that correct? Well, it's not really a relationship, really, quite yet. Okay, so it's not cemented yet, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Okay, and even though there's you've got a lot of good luck coming into your life, okay, because of all the bubbles and things like this. Like, which way do you see that? This re this which way do I see the relationship which going? Which way do you see good luck? Like oh, I see matter. good. I see good luck coming into a career matter, uh -huh. and I see something with good family, something around the family that's going to be a lot of good luck for you. I don't know if this is an inheritance or what this is, but around this relationship, if it's this man, I think you need to explore him a little bit further, okay? I don't believe that you have all the facts on this person, all right? Okay. And I, I think you need to check things out. Either that, I'm getting the sense of a, uh, I'm getting the sense of a barracuda around you, okay? And, and what does that quite mean? A barracuda is not a very friendly <laughs> fish. <laughs> not good. It's not, it's not good at all, Kathy. Okay. I have another question about my friend. She's engaged, and I'd like to know if real she's quick, though, okay? married to this person. Okay, real quick. Real quick, and this is on your friend? Uh-huh. Give me your name. Her name is Julia.
And as this this happens sometimes, Kathy, sometimes I will not get it's Portia. Oh, Portia, I'm very sorry. Thank you. Uh, sometimes I will not get an answer, which and this has happened before when I don't get an answer. Like one lady asked me about a surgery, I didn't get an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, she called me back to let me know that they canceled the surgery. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. So I have to tell you that, Portia, I'm not getting an answer on your friend Julia's uh, engagement, and so I have to leave it with that. Okay, I have okay. a good question for No, we're all done. We're all done. Lots though. of okay? good luck. Good Thank luck. you. Okay. <laughs> we got one more. One more uh... Hi, who is this? Hi, this is Caroline. Hello, Caroline. A real quick question. Yes, um, I'm in the middle of writing my first book. Wow, congratulations. Very Thank good. Thank you. And Hi, I Caroline. I will be congratulated. Will it be successful? Yeah, yes, you will. Yes, you will. Will there be money? Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Because already, I mean, even just, even just hearing you, Caroline, just wonderful. I mean, we see when I poured the coffee into the cup, you're almost your whole cup filled up with bubbles. That's good luck. That's, uh, that's happiness. That's goals. What about the time frame? Gosh, I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel real far from now, let me tell you. It doesn't it doesn't feel real far. How far are you on writing this book? Has it been edited already? No. All right. I would tell you just go ahead and move on it, okay? Things are good for you. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank well good luck. Good luck. Okay. Bye. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back, and we'll uh, put your phone number up, and anything like that, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Man, we got a lot of phone calls. We got a lot of phone calls. We're running out of time. I want to get Jory Ann's uh, phone number up there. Jory Ann, read that. What's that number? <laughs> All right, the number is 219-865-1608. And I'm available for personal consultations, house parties, lots of house parties, and corporate events. Now, do you do a lot of house parties? All the time, Tons? on a regular basis, yeah? yes. Okay. You would be fun. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Now, uh, this was great. Everybody really liked this. Uh, so we're going to try and get Jory and the Coffee Psychic back here next week. We're not sure. You've got to check your, uh, your, your busy schedule. Yes. And uh, hopefully uh, you can join us, if, if not next week, another soon. time. I'd Sometime love to. soon. That was great. Thank you. Jory and the Coffee Psychic, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. You were great. You were great. Thanks, Doug. Okay. And uh, we're going to go. We'll be back next week at uh, 730. Okay. Bye.